Hello YouTube, welcome back to Matt's Help. And in this video, we're gonna be we're gonna cover the formula for the circumference of an ellipse. In its essence, the formula is simply two pi multiplied by the square root of a squared plus b squared over 2. Although this formula may seem quite excessive at first, the more you work with it, the easier it will be to remember. That is, if your specific assessment, say a test, does not give you a formula sheet. And this C right here, don't do not confuse it with the Pythagorean theorem because we have a squared plus b squared. It's simply C for circumference. Now let's just go over to our ellipse here. <coughs> Sorry, it's not the world's best drawn ellipse, but I gave it a shot. So this is side length a. Well, sorry, radius A, and this is radius B. These are the two, well, they're not radii, but you see what I mean. They're just lengths from, the, that's the, A is the shortest length from from the center point. Let's, let, I'm not going to name the center point, but let's just remember that that is the center point. Um, that's the shortest, A is the shortest distance between center point and the circumfer point on the circumference, and B is the longest distance between the center point of the ellipse and the circumference of the ellipse. So actually, let's just simplify, well, substitute in the values. Let's do 2 pi multiplied by the square root of a squared. Let's, let's just, I'm sorry, wait. I forgot to add in values. 4, let's say centimeters. Let's say that's, I don't know, five centimeters. I know it's not to scale, but as you move higher into mathematics, nothing will be at to scale, I guess. A squared is four, so that's four squared plus five squared, B squared, which is five squared. All of that over two. Now, let's just, we're going to have to approximate here, but 2 pi, well, not here, here, but just soon we're going to have to approximate. Um, multiplied by 16, uh, multiplied by the square root of 16 plus 25, you can do that in your head. That's 41 and 41 over 2, square root of that. Now, I'm just going to just do the approximation sign because you have to indicate in mathematics when you are approximating an answer just to let the person marking you know that this is an actual approximation. And let's do 2 pi multiplied by the square root of 20.5. 20.5. And that gives us approximately 28 point four five and our units all we have to remember centimeters multiplied by centimeters which gives us centimeters squared so the circumference of this ellipse right here is 28.45 centimeters given that a equals four centimeters and b equals five centimeters actually if this drawing is not to scale it wouldn't look quite similar to a circle this ellipse because the difference between the center and circumference points is not too great. The greatest the range of the range of the distances from the center point to the points on the circumference are not too different. And that's going to wrap up the video. And make sure you guys do a little bit more practice with this. Just rewatch the video or just use the formula and do some problems yourself and solve them because the more prepared you are the better you will do in a test and make sure you guys like and subscribe for more maths help and comment down below any problems you have and i'll try and make I'll, i will try and make a video about it and until next time that's me signing out maths help see you guys later